on YouTube. I am this guy here. This guy. And I'm going to be doing my April 2018 ban list prediction and discussion video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to be talking about this format, what it says consists of at the moment, um, what decks I think should be getting banned, limited, unlimited. So um, on a business aspect, I think they're going to try to push decks on us um, to make money. I mean, who doesn't want to make money? And I agree that, you know, making money is what the business is all about. So, you know, them hitting Pendulum Magicians and Dracos to uh, introduce other decks, I think is going to, well, that's what's going to happen in this ban list. You know, currently the game is balanced. You know, it's probably more balanced than it's been in like forever. You know, with you know, we're not one deck dominating the format right now. And you know, with currently Dracos and Pendulum Magicians being like the best decks right now, and they're both competitive to each other. You know, one strives off of the other. So, you know, I I think that's actually enjoyable, and you know, it's kind of fun seeing a Draco player and a Pendulum player playing against each other. So starting off with the cards I think is going to get banned, uh, Astrograph. I think Astrograph is going to get banned um, just because Pendulum Magician can really, really abuse this card, especially with Electromite. Um, yeah, it's just not fair. These the, the things, the plays they can, they, can, they can do with Astrogram, it's just not fair at all. So, you know, banning Astrogram is the right call. And that's I think I'm predicting that's what they're going to do is just ban Astrogram. Um, Nightingale. Nightingale, I think they're just gonna ban just for the simple fact it's an FTK and it, it hitting Nightingale is gonna kill the FTK. Um, I, that's what they're gonna do is just kill FTK decks. They should. So Nightingale, sorry, but you're gonna be seeing the ban hammer. Ban. <laughs> uh, same with this next card, uh, Lady Lapras. Lapras, I think, is gonna get uh, or Lupus. Sorry, Lupus. Lupus is gonna get banned. Um, same reason for Nightingale, FTK, if you hit that card, it's going to kill the deck. So uh, Lupus, banned. Um, next card I want to talk about is uh, Grinder Golem. Um, people, I'm going to go into detail with Grinder Golem just for the simple fact that the card can be abused. I don't know if players know that, especially with uh, certain cards coming out and you know with the deck I'm going to be using, which will be Altered Guest. Alter guess can abuse Grinder Golem. Um, so I think for the simple fact that they want to stop, you know, they don't they don't want that card being abused, and I think they're just gonna ban it just so it doesn't get abused. So Grinder Golem getting banned is the right call. You know, I'm gonna be salty about it, but because I enjoy using Grinder Golem in, in my deck. But you know, I understand. You know, any card that that can be abused or is going to get abused should be banned. So Grinder Golem banned. Um, scapegoat. <laughs> I've been calling for this since Link of Monsters came out. I don't know why Scapegoat's even still at three. I thought at least they would hit to one by now. Um, but I think now they're probably seeing how the scapegoat can change the game, um, how decks get, or you know, how it just can be abused right now. You know, it's just unfair when I have the advantage. I break their board, they turn over scapegoat on my end phase, and I'm just like wanting to throw my deck at them. Um, so I think Konami's just gonna ban that card, just as, you know, simple fact that it's a game changer, and they do ban cards that do change the game. So I think scapegoat being banned is the right call, and I'm predicting a ban on scapegoat. So that's it for the uh, ban list. I want to talk about the limited cards. Um, I'm going to start off with diagram. Diagram. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be limited to one. Hitting diagram to one, I think would put that deck in check, and I think that would be plenty for the deck. I think hitting masterpiece is way too much. You know that they need masterpiece, so you know let them keep masterpiece. Masterpiece is not becoming a problem. For say, um, we can play around masterpiece. We have ultra masterpiece, so you know if you take their that card away, that deck will die. And I don't think that's they, I don't think that's what they're gonna do. I think they're just gonna simply power hit the power of the deck, which is diagram. Uh, terraforming. Um, I'm predicting terraforming one just because, like I said at the beginning of the video, the way the game is right now, where decks are relied on the fill spells. 
being able to search your fail spell and having access to your fail spell by turn one is kind of uh, good. Um, hitting terraforming is the right call just because you know they always hit searching cards like Rhoda um, and other cards that really doesn't come to the top of my head. Rhoda is just like the main one I can think of right now at the moment. But they always hit search cards, so you know hitting terraforming is the right call. So terraforming to one. Uh, the next card is Snow. I want to talk about Snow. Fairy Tale Snow is like, <laughs> I, I, I love the card. I really do. I mean, I, I love what the card can do. I love how it can disrupt. I love how, you know, people just cringe to the play of Snow. Uh, I can handle one Snow. So, you know, hitting it to one is fine with me just because we have Call by the Grave, which is a card I like to use on Snow a lot. Um, I'm main digging Call by the Grave in all my decks. I think everyone else will by now. They should be using Call by the Grave because it is a perfect out for Snow. You know, chain Snow to Call by the Grave. You banish Snow. They don't have access to Snow until they can get to Omega. And, you know, realistically, um, Snow is only being used at three by 60 card players. And I'm sure 60 card players can use other cards to replace those two snows being being hit. That's the perfect word, hit. So hitting snow is fine to one. Um, they'll survive. Construct. Um, con they'll, they'll use construct to replace the snow hit. Um, and I think that's a fair trade. Hitting snow to one, getting construct back, that's a perfect balance in my opinion. So, you know, if they bring Construct to one, they're going to hit Snow to one just for that simple fact that Shadol is going to abuse Snow. So, Construct to one, that's the right call if they hit Snow. So, me predicting hitting Snow, Const I'm predicting Construct coming back to one for that reason. Uh, Exiton Knight. Exiton Knight, I think, is coming off the ban list at one. Exiton Knight is no longer a threat. It, it, I, I understand why it got banned in the first place, but now it's just... We have so much disruption to our the exposal right now. It's unreal. So, I mean, if I'm facing the Hexaton Knight, but I'm not shaking in my boots, I, you know, I'm not crying, I'm not going to, you know, say I lose and scoop, you know, my cards. You know, I, I, I'm sure I will have outs for it. Um, I'm sure I can get that thing off the hill before it can even, you know, do anything. I could, you know, and honestly, like I said, it's not a big deal, so it's the right call. Exit on eight to one. Uh, the next card I want to talk about: Heavy Storm. I'm predicting Heavy Heavy Storm to one. Um, we need more turn two cards. Turn one is really really good. I mean, I'm sure everyone can agree with me on that. You know, you want to go turn one. So you know, Heavy Storm coming to one would you know, basically make that turn one play not so good, knowing that that heavy storm's running around. So you're not going to set five and in turn. <laughs> Dracos are not going to, you know, set three, four, in turn. Because if they get hit with that heavy storm, they know it exists. They know that people are probably going to be, you know, stapling it in their deck. So I think uh, heavy storm's the right call because, you know, it, it is right now healthy, would be healthy for the game. At the moment, so that rounds off for the uh, cards. I think it's going to be limited. Uh, this is my most exciting uh, discussion I want to talk about because there's a lot of cards I think should be off the ban list. I'm only going to name probably a few, but there's more than this I think should be off the ban list that might be coming off the ban list. I think they're this is the ban list we get like a bunch load of cards. I'm predicting maybe 10, 12 cards off the ban list. Let's get started here with uh, Compulse. Um, yeah, I think Compulse is going to three. There's no reason to have this card at one. Uh, Compulse is not really a problem card anymore. I don't predict it will be. Um, I wouldn't have an issue with Compulse being at three. So, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even use it myself. Okay, I lied. Yeah, Ultra Disc can abuse it. <laughs> so I wouldn't run it. But, you know, I think, again, they're going to, you know, start using the... Uh, they're going to start bringing back cards to appeal players to play, you know, decks, so I definitely would play that deck if it's at three. Um, Mathematician. Yeah, Mathematician, I think, is going to three. Um, I understood why it got hit in the first place. Um, 
because it, at that time it was unfair. Now the way the game is, and you know, it, it's just there's better cards I can use. Um, so I think Mathematician in three is the right call, and I'm predicting it is going to come off the ban list. Uh, this this next card, um, Book of Moon. You know, I laughed. I, I laughed really, really hard. I know. I wish I could have, you know, videotaped myself laughing because when I seen that ban list, last ban list, um, and I seen Torrential Tribute off the ban list, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, like I said, I uh, I cracked up big time because I'm all I was that I was predicting Book of Moon coming off, but then I seen Torrential Tribute off the ban list, and I cried. Of laughter, knowing that Torrential Tribute got off the ban list, Konami, and you still kept <laughs> Book of Moon on the ban list. Why? Book of Moon that will not do anything. So why are you still keeping this card at one? Um, I still bring it. I, I will still ask Konami that question. Why? Why is Book of Why? Why did Torrential Tribute come off the ban list before Book of Moon? Um, if anyone knows watching my video, please leave a comment below of why, why if someone has an answer for me, why Book of Moon is still on this, on the on the ban list, but they took Torrential Tribute off the ban list. It makes no sense. Um, anyways, yeah, enough with Book of Moon. It, sh it needs to be off. It should have been off by now. So yeah, I'm predict. I, man, I'm not. I mean, I'm hoping it's at three. There's no reason. And if it does come off the ban list. It's it's right. It's it's right. It should. Ring of Destruction. Yeah, I think this is coming off the ban list. There's no reason to have it at, on the ban list. Um, I thought for sure when it got its rota, it was going to go to three because it would be irrelevant. And we're not seeing it being used by any players, even Chain Burn. I don't even see the Chain. I play many Chain Burn players out there, and they don't even use Ring of Destruction anymore. So, Ring of Destruction at three is the right call. And I don't see why it couldn't be off the ban list, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. Why? Why is it on there? And I'm predicting it going to three. Uh, next card I want to talk about is uh, Skill Drain. Um, this is not so much me predicting it; it's me wanting it. Um, and I'm just going to throw it out there. You know, it being a three is not a big deal, and I'm gonna argue that you know. You got cards that do the exact same thing, and you have them at three. So, uh, yeah, skill drain three. I'm calling. I'm gonna predict it. Um, I haven't seen, heard anyone talk about skill drain. I'm gonna be the only one I know of that's talking about skill drain to three. And I, I, I can see Konami bringing it back, just to give that uh, Draco deck something to work with after hitting Biogram and also giving, you know, future decks, you know, a rub a little, just a little rub, give something to use. So, Skill Drain to 3. Uh, that rounds off my uh, predictions of what's going to be on the ban list, coming off the ban list, cards that's going to be limited. Well, thank you guys for watching me. Um, and you guys have a real pleasant day. Thank you. Bye.